Hello, it's Super Video Man 000 today, right now, and I'm gonna show you how to play like um, like Nintendo 64 and NES games, and SNES games on your own computer. First, you'll need either you need WinRAR. If you already have it, you don't need it anymore. But you'll need either x 88 x86 which is 32 bit or x64 which is 64 bit and you download it from rarlab.com slash download dot htm I'll put it in the description I already have it so I don't need to get it then you should go to emulator zone because this is a place where you get emulators and um I'm going to first start out with the Nintendo 64. Project 64 is the best one you can get. Down here, you click on the one you want. Project 64 1.6 at this time. Um, run. It'll install. There's some emulators that you don't have to install, but this is by far the best one. Who cares if it's safe? Just to show you, it was safe. How this is installing? I'm gonna show you. It's called romhustler.net. And it has um, lots of ROMs for. ROM is basically like a game for a, a cartridge system. Um, yeah. So. You. Oh, this wants me. Launch Project 64 and finish. That's what Project 64 looks like. I'm just going to minimize it right now. This is where you get ROMs. Um, and you start with S because I know Super Mario 64 is an awesome game. Click here to download this ROM. Download the local room here in six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now save that file. Open the file. It should it should open um It should open uh, WinRAR, or you can just open the file up with WinRAR if that doesn't happen. Okay, extract to. And you put it somewhere I can find. There. Come with. It comes with lots of different versions, like hacks and stuff. But now X, whatever. Um, I don't minimize that. 
choose ROM directory in Project 64. Um. I'm just going to the directory where I have all my stuff. Now, options, configure controller plugin. Make sure all these buttons are the ones you like. Um, then click on the one you want. It's me, Mario! Let's look into who's the camera guy. He's really bad at being the camera guy. Play the game. You kind of get it. Super Toad. Whatever, shut up. Yeah, you're stupid. Good mom. Why do I need to do Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you go up to the top. You go in here. Cause that like, just takes you to the top. Basically, how you um, how the game works. You beat, you get the things and like that. Whatever. Now, exit. Now, when you go back to Inner Explorer. I'm gonna get something a little more more old school. Nintendo NES emulator. FCE UX is the best one. Because it works on newer computers. Click on FCEUX. Save. Create it somewhere. Um, then go over to ROM holster and go to NES. I like Super Mario, so S. Get that. You have to wait for it. And you have to click here. Save. Open. Check. Close. Extract two. Hit 
to them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, um, open C U X stack the files stack. Run, get bigger, um, open, um, open that. <laughs> Now, you have, now, um, config, input, configure gamepad. There. Now you can play Super. Now, after you configure it, you can play Super Mario. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to show you how to get, um, first, um, SNES. You have to go to Super Nintendo. SNES 9X is a good one. I have a 64-bit computer, but you, but 32-bit is is um most older computers are 32-bit. If if you have a Core 2 Duo or a newer computer like a Core i i5, i3, or i7. Then, um, they'll get 64 bit. If, but if you have like a Pentium 4 or a Pentium 3, get the 32 bit. But nobody has those anymore. Extract all files. Extract. Then, you need to go to ROM Hustler. Hustler. Um, SNES now S 
because I like to see mine out. Let me get this. Check two. Um. SNES 9X. Open SNES 9X. Load game. Input, input configuration, up, down, left, right, e, a, really boring but bye